All right, hello and good morning, everybody. It is I, Granorite, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with our Gen 3 type challenge of Grass type. Uh, I realized <laughs> overnight that I forgot to get two TMs that we wanted for the next um, gym fight, and so we're gonna go get those really quick. Or we just we two TMs that we want that we can get. And so we're going to go get those before we go on. So I'm just going to speed through our travel to get there. Do apologize about that. We all make mistakes. All right. So we need to head back up here. Back off. Uh, let's go ahead and start here. We need to get Sandstorm. For Cacnea. Because that activates its Pokemon power. We will teach that in place uh, Poison Sting. Then we want to get Toxic for Jumpla as it's better than Poison Powder. Also, while we're here. Go ahead and give the Macho Brace over the Celebi. So Parasect and Jumpluff are both done EV training. Uh, Celebi needed like 52 more-ish. Cacnea needs 20. And Breloom needs 38 to finish out. So we should finish out everybody's EV trading this episode. Which is awesome. One more repel. So sorry for the little detour. Very important though. All right, now we're ready to go into the Petalburg gym. So we're going to start off with... Let's try Jump Luff up front in this fight. To start off. If we have issues, we'll switch. Go for a Leech Seed. See how much a Wing Attack does. I mean, we survive. Oh, and of course we miss the Leech Seed. Things can't be easy for us. She's going to Hyper Potion. Oh, well, if she's with a Hyper Potion, I should have did something else. I thought they full restored. I thought everybody full restores when they heal. Okay. We'll get Cacnea and Celebi in on this fight to get them both EVs.
good deal. Alright, let's do Breloom up in this next fight. Get us eight of the thirty eight we needed. Good deal. Then let's get Cacnea in this fight. Alright, we're gonna start off with let me see here. Start off with a sandstorm. We'll take a double edge. Holy moly the damage that did. Well, I guess we'll just go down. But. Because, you know, we can't have nice things. Um, we have speed next. I know we take neutral damage from Shockwave, but that's okay. We have a lot of special defense. It doesn't have stab. See, everything will be fine. Fan attack should do the same amount of damage Shockwave did, yeah. So we will take no damage from this fight. Should go down this turn. Ooh, critical hit. So we will have a little chip damage. Fight. 
All right, they'll. Or no, it'll heal with the citrus berry. We should still do enough damage to take it down. Swap Breloom up for the next fight. Almost got it with a single hit. That's all right, they're gonna heal it and we're just gonna get two priority mock punches and down it'll go. Easy enough. Those give speed. Interesting. Um, again, we want Cacnea to get some special. Okay, we need to hand out berries. Celebi. We are confused. But we get the psychic off. Excellent. So he should heal it here. Come on. It'd be nice if we just, you know, could catch a break. Now we'll hit ourselves. Because it was like the last one. Alright, Vigoroth is coming out next. Let's swap to Parasect. A slash, that's fine. Ooh, good critical hit. We're gonna keep Parasect out for the Lanoon. So it maximizes its attack, but cuts its HP in half. So we should do enough to take it out with a return here. I hope so. Yes, excellent. Which just leaves us with the slacking. Now it does no faint attack. We're gonna throw up a sandstorm. Chip damage. Wow, that facade hit. And there goes its berry. Oh, F this game. Let's go jump off.
Pigeon Power Grass. Hello, Envy. Welcome to the stream as we're raging at Pokemon. He's gonna heal it here. We don't want to toxic it because we don't want to trigger its facade. grass attack though but i guess it's a normal attack i think that's a loophole loophole in the counter he's gonna heal it here again oh he's not wow he did not so we take it down excellent And that's a badge. Good deal. So we're just going to speed through the talking. We'll get Surf. We need... Oh, we don't need to. We want to teach Facade to jump off in place of Tackle. I need to teach Surf. Can't do nothing without Surf. Pick up these items. There we go. Now we're ready to head back. Let's throw We've got HP and special defense here. We'll throw our two maxed Pokemon out. Turn here and hidden power grass here. Again, this is that one fight that, like, you can only do it after you get Surf, but it's really low level. Oh, back off, Tentacool. That's frustrating. All right, let's go heal because Tentacool. Here I am just trying to get through the area without using another Repel for 10 steps. Uh, 
Uh, we'll keep Parasect up to start out, because the first thing we fight is a Metatite. Okay. We'll get some good experience for Bray Lumen here. Read my mind and then get returned. The next fight starts out with a Makuhita. HP EVs. I really would like it just to finish out in a little bit that well, it's gonna get some HP EVs because I'm gonna use it in the upcoming double battle against the reporter. How many more does it need? I think we've only gotten it four out of the 20 it needed. Okay, well, Cacnea is going to get HP EVs, whether I like it or not. Now, this mod choke, on the other hand, is going to take on Breloom. should be finished EV training after it fights this other Breloom. Pretty close. If not done, I'm pretty sure it'll be done. Because we've gotten 32 thus far and I only need 38. We're going to get 8 here. You go ahead and mock Punch. Maybe we'll effects for you. And we did. Excellent. Seeker power gets around effect spore, so we won't get hit. We got a total of eight there. Smoke ball, which is useless. Uh, what are we at with Brave Let me just check. It needs it needs six more now.
Oh, it's not. What am I talking to you for? We need to go up here and talk to Watson. so that we can get Thunderbolt, which I'm pretty sure Celebi can learn, which would be better than Shockwave. It'd be really good for the uh, late game. Especially gets all the Skarmories that we won't have another thing to beat. Well, Celebi can't learn Thunderbolt. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. But we got it. I guess we'll sell it. here okay here we go now cacnea needs 14 more and we're gonna get 12 from here so it's gonna be effectively done after this Let's go to voices and we'll go we'll do lots of ellipses the perfect clincher uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. so you don't need this anymore Really, it's just Celebi that needs the Macho Brace from here on out. Oh, I did not want to do this fight with... Oh, it'll be fine. I was thinking of the bird fights upcoming, which also is not really a good matchup for... Cacnea, but it would have been okay. <sighs> Cacnea has done EV training now. enough super repels to get through all this.
focus on this. Alright, let's get these uh, citrus berries. Glad that we're faster than the wing goal. So remember, our target leveling up for the next gem is 33, so we will be over-leveled for Winona, but we're always over-leveled for Winona. Alright, let's throw Breloom up front with Cacnea for this next double battle. We should hand out some berries. Looking to hopefully evolve Cactia after this fight. It would be really nice to get our Cac turn and have Cacnea stop just lagging behind, it seems. It's nice that we're not EV training it anymore, so we're not inhibiting its speed by having the Macho Brace on. But it only has it is as fast as um Parasect. Which is a little gross. Good deal. Of course, we didn't train it for speed, so I guess we shouldn't be surprised that it's so slow. Hooray! Time for an evolution. Final evolution. Turn's got an E in it. Back turn. Back turn. Make sure I spell it right. Big boost stats there. Our uh, special attack went up by like 20. Still slow, but now it's not as slow as Parasect at least. It's got some decent attack stats. So what do we know about Cacturn? Let's read about Cacturn. Cacturn is a humanoid bipedal Pokemon that resembles a green scarecrow made of cacti. Its face has two eye holes uh, through which yellow eyes can be seen and six smaller holes representing a grinning mouth. It has numerous spikes along the length of its arms, legs, and around its neck. A pattern of green rhombi extend down its the front of its body a female has large dark green rhombus above a smaller one while a male has three small dark green rhombi uh, there is a triangular dark green feature on its head that resembles a hat with spiky tips cacturn is a nocturnal pokemon that rarely moves during the day which allows it to hold moisture at night it searches for prey or follows travelers until they become exhausted prior to generation five needle arm was its signature move it has lived in deserts for so long that its blood is transformed into sand. 
and our Gen 3 Pokedex information for Cacturn. Ruby says during the daytime, Cacturn remains unmoving, so it does not lose any moisture to the harsh desert sun. This Pokemon becomes active at night when the temperature drops. Sapphire says if a traveler is going through a desert in the thick of night, Cacturn will follow in a ragtag group. The Pokemon are biting their time, waiting for the traveler to tire, tire and become incapable of moving. Emerald says, after spending thousands of years in harsh deserts, its blood is transformed to the same substance as the sand. It is nocturnal, so it hunts at night. And Fire Red and Leaf Green says, it lives in deserts and becomes active at night when it hunts for prey exhausted from the desert's heat. And that is our information on Cacturn. All right, so Celebi still needs a little bit of uh, EV training. Not a lot, but a bit. But we get a bunch of special attack and special defense here from these upcoming fights, which is awesome for Celebi, so we're going to hop in. I think we'll... F we, well, I think we might finish its EV training with these two fights because we get so many EVs with the Macho Brace. From these two fights and it only needs 18 more so yeah we're definitely gonna finish its EV training because we get four here and we get another eight here Uh, bu bum 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 let's who do I want to do with this other? Let's throw jump love up with um Celebi. And then this double battle, we will focus down the beautify first. And that'll get us uh 12, which we will only take six of, I think. And, um, Selby is done EV training. And that's the team EV train. So now we don't care what they fight for the rest of the game. Let's give you a Petra Berry. All right. I did switch Pokemon, didn't I? Yeah, I put Braylon up front. My tracker just didn't follow. Now we're just going to see who, how far we get through this route in this episode. We are going to do two episodes today, but I had to break them up because I have a meeting this morning. So we're going to do, uh, you know, we'll do this one up to our hour time and then we'll take a break. And then once the meeting is done, I'll come back and we'll do the other hour. Bum, 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 bum. Let's get jump luff done. Jump luff will get a lot better when we get aerial ace for it in place of facade. Not that it's going to do a whole lot of damage with the aerial ace, but it is a stab attack for it. I will just let you take down the beauty fly.
all of the chip damage. One HP from Jet Bluff. Very nice. We will not learn Cotton Spore. We'll go over to Cacturn for the Silcoon. Making its battle debut. Celebi only needed a little bit more experience to level up. Parasect eat a bug. Wish away. Now I'm pretty sure that Volby and Ilavise, they are only bug type. They are not flying type. Yeah. Which is we odd. They have wings. I'm surprised they don't have it as a second typing. There's a lot of bug flying types though. Yeah, Cacturn actually has our highest special attack now after that uh, evolution. Goodbye, Cactor. All right, we'll both take a little more chip damage. Parasect up. Oh, don't do that. Stupid. Sand attack!
There we go. Swap Cacturn up. I get up to the Weather Institute by the end of this episode, which will be nice. Maybe we should have took a turn during that Magic Harp to throw up a Sandstorm. It would have helped us a little bit. It makes us harder to hit. Gets a little chip damage on. Maybe we don't need it. with the citrus berries, but lupa berries are good too. Effectively, eaters. Good confusion. Ah, oh, but... Have anything that heals paralysis? I'm trying to think of what we do. So I have a cherry berry. Because I want Breloom to take on this other Breloom for another Breloom matchup. Alright, next we have a Swellow and a Goldeen.
Let's shockwave the swallow and absorb the golding. Let's just keep these two up for this next double battle. The ninja ass can stay and attack the slugma. Let's let Parasect do this next fight. gonna hurt but we have high defense it still hurts a bunch it is times four effective we'll put the tropius to sleep heal here and then we're going to end this episode for this morning we do hope you all enjoyed the episode and we will be back just a late little later this morning with another one until then we'll see you next time